Hey everyone, I uh, just wanted to make a quick video on how to properly use Odin with your Samsung Epic to return to stock like your phone was out of the box. Um, it's a good way, good method to use if you rooted your phone and you want to unroot it. Uh, if you need to go back to stock for any reason, whether it's a warranty reason or anything like that, if you happen to accidentally brick your phone for any reason, you'll use Odin to uh, fix it. Um, to start off, uh, I'd really recommend getting a new micro USB cable. Uh, the one that came with the Samsung Epic is no good at all. It uh, most of the problems I have seen are having end up having to do with the cable that Samsung has provided. So I would recommend going to Amazon and uh, purchasing a new USB, micro USB cable, uh, I found that uh, Blackberry cables work well. Uh, pick it up for three, four dollars off Amazon and uh, that will help eliminate many errors that can occur with Odin. Uh, so the first thing you're going to need is the Samsung Gal the Galaxy S drivers. Uh, all the uh, downloads that you are going to need I will post in the description of the video. So First of all, when you go click on the driver link, it will take you to this XDA website, XDA Developers. Uh, it's one of my favorite websites. Um, I like it a lot. It's got a great community. Uh, a lot of people, they're very helpful. So if you ever need help with this, you can always go there and a ask a lot of people. I'm sure they'll gladly help you out. Uh, so when you go to this website, you'll say Windows 32-bit, 64-bit drivers. Uh, for your Samsung Galaxy S, choose the appropriate one, whether you have a 64-bit operating system or a 32-bit. Click on them. Uh, it'll take you to this website. You click on download, download those drivers, uh, extract them somewhere you're going to remember, such as your desktop. Uh, so you'll have them extracted. Mine I extracted to my desktop. I have it right here. Just double click on them, uh, install the drivers, go through the install process. Uh, that will help eliminate many errors uh, that you will have. Uh, after you have done this and installed your drivers, you are going to need to download Odin. So you will go to the description again, download the, and click on the link. It'll take you to this multi upload website. Uh, basically, you'll see this Odin 1.3 RAR. That's what the file you're going to need. Either you just do a direct download or download a file from any of these websites. Um, basically, it'll be a, a zipped up file. You're going to need to extract Odin. I would recommend extracting it to your desktop. I have it extracted to my desktop. It's right up here. Odin 3, the 1.61. It's got a uh, MFC with bricks on there. So, um, so now you have Odin. You're going to need the PIT file. So go to the description again, click on this, it'll take you to a rapid share website, download the file, so it's a low download or unless you have an account, high speed download. Um, you'll see the file name will be s one odin 20100512pit that's the PIT file you're going to need to put into Odin. Uh, so now that you'll download that, once you have that, what you'll need then is a tar file, which is the main file that you need to use. Odin to return to stock. Basically you'll click on another link I will provide and it will take you to this another XDA website, uh, XDA uh, thread. Um, basically you're going to need to scroll down a little bit and once you scroll down eventually you'll see this list of Odin files to use. Currently the most updated version of Android 2.2 that had that Sprint has released for the Samsung Epic is called EC05. Basically that has to do with the date that they released the update. Uh, currently there is no tar file to flash with Odin to get back to stock EC05. There's no way to use Odin to do this, but if you, eventually there will be a tar file, and you will just use the same method and just put the EC05 tar file where I'm going to tell you to put the other tar files. Um, so right now you can either choose EB13, click on this link, uh, download that file that will inst that will uh, download the tar for EB13, which would be Android 2.2, or if you wanted to go back to Android 2.1 on your Epic, you will use this D 
I18 update. Click on this link, download the file. You'll have this tar file. Basically, I put it somewhere you're going to remember. I put everything on my desktop. Easiest way to do it for me. Whether you want Android 2.2, which is UB13, or 2.1, which is DI18. Uh, I will post a video on how to properly update to EC05 uh, soon. You'll need to be on, as of right now, you'll need to be on DI18. Uh, hopefully that will change very soon. Sprint did not properly update every device, so... Um, I will update a video for you guys, upload a video for you guys to show you how to do that currently. Uh, I'm, so now that you have your tar files, download them, put them on your desktop somewhere you're going to find them. Um, now that you got all the files that you will need, uh, you guys are going to have to go to Odin. Double click on Odin. And this is what Odin looks like. It's a nice little program. I love it. It's, it's, it's awesome. It's it's great for our device. Um, so what you'll need to do is find the PIT. Click on that. Uh, once you go to PIT, you'll, I have everything in the desktop. So desktop, I'll scroll all the way down. Find the S1 Odin 2.0, whatever, and then double click on it. It'll be my PIT. Go in the PIT slot. And then your tar file, they go all go here. You check the PDA files. You click on PDA, and they're all on my desktop. So either I want to go to DI18 or EB13, whatever one I choose. Currently on my phone, I am running EB EC05 actually, um, and I am rooted as you can see with super user. And if I go to about phone, look down here, I'm on stock EC05. Uh, so as you can see, I'm going to want to go back to DI18 if if I so choose, and this will show you how to do that. So back to Odin, um, you double click on whatever tar file you want, whether you want DI18 or EB13. I'm going to go back to DI18. Uh, so I double click on that, so that's in the PDA file now. And you want to go over here, and then under Auto Reboot, you want that checked, and you want to uncheck F Reset Time. You don't want that checked, so Auto Reboot's the only thing you want checked. So then you will go back to your Epic and shut it off. You want it to shut all the way down. So you hit power off, turn off, let it shut down. Um, you should feel it vibrate if you're on. When it's fully shut down, the lights will shut off. The keyboard lights won't turn on when you slide it out. Uh, that's when you know it's completely shut off. Um, so now that it's completely shut off, what you're going to need to do is put your Epic into download mode. This is very key. I've seen people not forget to put it in download mode and use try and use Odin. Um, you need to make sure that you have it in download mode. So to put it in download mode, you'll slide it open, and basically you will need to use the one on the physical keyboard, and you press and hold it, and then you press the power button at the same time. And when you do so, you will go into download mode. Basically, you'll see a picture of Android guy digging. It's awesome. Um, and you're in download mode. And now once you plug in your Epic, let me do that. Uh, you're going to need to plug it in. And when you go back to Odin, you will see this ID com. You will, once you plug in your phone, you will see that it will show up as a com number. It does not matter what number it is at all. As long as your computer recognizes the device, it will see com. Mine says com6. Uh, if, if it doesn't recognize it, I would either say try a different USB port or... Uh, Redownload your drivers and then try all the USB ports again. Uh, otherwise, I would say try a different micro USB cable. That could be another issue that you have. But now that you have your computer recognizing your device at com device at COM6, you're going to go and hit start. So I will hit start. Uh, usually, it takes about two and a half minutes. Um, it'll run through everything, uh, everything down there. I'm going to have to cut this out of the video for time's sake, so I will uh, get back to you once this video is, once this uh, flashing is complete. You'll, if you look at your phone, you'll see a little progress bar there, so that'll go all the way in. Alright, so now that we're back, um, should be it's finishing up Odin now, uh, flashing the modem. You'll see on your phone the progress bar is all the way up, pretty much. Um, as soon as it's done with this, it should reboot your phone. And once it reboots your phone, you should be good to go. You should be back on stock. Since I did DI18, you should be back on stock 
DI-18. Um, see it says pass, two, took me two and a half minutes. Um, as soon as it boots up I will show you that we're back on stock DI-18 using Odin. So, um, shouldn't take too long to boot up I hope. But as another recap, um, you, this is use Odin if you will need to unroot, uh, if you brick your phone, you think you brick your phone, um, it's a great tool to use. Always make sure you put it in download mode. Um, you shouldn't, if you have any questions or anything, you can always comment on my video. Um, I'd be glad to help you guys out with anything you will need. Hopefully this boots up soon. I don't want to take up too much of your time. Alright. So now I should be back on stock DI-18. Let's try and get this done really quick. Go to hit menu settings, about phone. And if you look at the bottom you should see Eclair DI-18. There you go. Back on DI-18. So that is how you do that. Um, yeah, that's how you properly use Odin to flashback to stock. Like I said before, if you do have any questions, uh, feel free to comment on the video or uh, you can send me a message. I will happily help you guys out in any way I can. Uh, any comments on how to improve my videos would be greatly appreciated as well. Uh, I do plan on making uh, some new videos about how to uh, root the Epic or um, update it to EC05 or how to properly flash a ROM, things like that. Um, any suggestions for videos will be greatly appreciated as well. Uh, just th thanks guys for watching my video. I hope that this helped you out.